Load securement products have to be strong enough to secure loads under a variety of conditions, and some of them very rigorous conditions during transit. And in fact, any uh, load securement material or method that goes into uh, an AAR, Association of American Railroads manual, as an approved method, has to withstand, has to go through rigorous testing, and withstand multiple impacts. So in these multiple impacts, actually the, the test procedure calls for a forward impact of four miles an hour, six miles an hour, and a reverse six mile an hour impact. The bracing material has to withstand that. And in fact, the honeycomb panels that are placed in a lengthwise position in boxcars have to withstand a compression of 1,500 pounds per square foot. So that, that ensures then that the product will perform. If it can pass those tests, it can perform in the field. And, uh, and all of our products meet or exceed AAAR standards. In the area of, of products and applications, we have a couple of uh, new developments. One is we recently received Association of American Railroads approval for a strapping system to secure 55-gallon steel drums in 20-foot containers. So that's, that's new for us. We've had the strapping, we've sent it through vigorous testing, and what's unique about our approvals are that they are approved not only for non-hazmat material but for hazardous materials as well. So that's the new uh, approvals that we have. Uh, new products, we have a new system called the G-Force Shock Absorption System. The G-Force Shock Absorption System, SAS. And as the railroads have taken more of their bulkheads out of their cars, there's a need to secure commodities in boxcars without those bulkheads. That's a different type of securement. And we've developed a system that's comprised of some uh, heavy foam panels in addition to strapping that actually makes compartments in two ends of the cars and holds the commodities back. 